All right. What a nuclear bomb explosion feels like. We're going to watch this while I go pee. You, you could see the x-rays of your hands through your closed eyes. To say it was frightening is an understatement. We were basically used. Bro, what happened? This guy became Australian. He got nuked so hard, he's Australian now. Guinea pigs. The worst thing Some that could ever happen to a person. The threat of nuclear war hasn't been this high since the Cold War. We will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. To better understand this existential danger, I want to speak to soldiers who've experienced atomic bomb explosions up close. While everyone knows about Hiroshima and Nagasaki, few are aware that an additional 2,000 atomic bombs were detonated after World War II and tested on hundreds of thousands of young soldiers to prepare them for nuclear war. Most nuclear tests were performed by the United States and Russia, but 20,000 British soldiers were also involved. These missions were secret and up until recently, the veterans weren't allowed to discuss them. Only a few of these men are still alive today. I've been invited to a reunion of atomic veterans in a village near Bristol. The veterans have traveled from all over the country to share their experiences. I wonder if they're more concerned about the threat of nuclear war than my generation is, as they have experienced the power of these weapons firsthand. And it's 167. Bro, you do, I would not feel comfortable going in that room. These motherfuckers' bones have radiation in them. You know what I mean? I feel like you walk in there, you're get, you might get cancer from proximity. That's crazy. When I arrive, the room is full of old men playing bingo. Hello, I'm Western. Okay, I'll take it back. How bad could nukes be, bro? The other Japanese dudes survived till 93. These motherfuckers are kicking. You know what I mean? I don't understand it. Like, I feel like it gives you cancer, but like it also extends your life kind of. You know what I mean? It's like a monkey's paw type situation. <laughs> These are the very few that survive. Okay, okay. How about this? If it doesn't kill you with cancer, like early on, it lets you survive for like much longer than you normally would. I'm Wes. 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 It's hard to imagine that they have seen atomic bombs detonate. After this video, I'm going to get on a Discord call with Valkyrie and Myung, and I'm going to play a game that they wanted me to play. It's a big day. Back on the menu. Right. So I'll, I want to speak up. <laughs> My name is uh, Peter Barnard. I uh, served in the Arab for five years in the Pacific for the web well, testing. My name is Douglas Hearn. When I was 21 years old, I was sent to Christmas Island. I'm telling you, bro, they, they it made them British. Like, there's something about... Okay, there's... It makes you live long if you don't die immediately, but also it turns you British. And we witnessed five nuclear detonations. That was the defining point in my life that governed what my life was going to be like from the moment I saw the first one. Stood in front of it. My name is David. At the age of 18, they sent me to the nuclear test site it was utter devastation. Didn't know anything about it when we went. We didn't know what we were going to do when we went. Do they get like a cool atomic veteran pin though? This is going to change my opinion on it. Like how, does it look sick? Like do they get like a medal for it? Like, hey, congratulations for surviving the atomic bomb. I feel like. My grandmother got money. Did she get a pin? Like a challenge coin or something? They couldn't tell anyone for day. Oh, that's lame, dude. If I get if I get blasted with an atomic bomb, I'm telling everybody. That is actually a, a fate worse than death. 
Dude, come on. Imagine the government blows your shit up and you fucking can't even tell anyone. That sucks. That actually is the worst part about this. It's not even like the fact that you have a unique kind of bone cancer that doctors have no answer for. It's that you just can't tell motherfuckers that you got blown. Need to be told it would be testing bombs. We were told nothing. We knew nothing. We were told very little about the day, except don't look at the flash. God, this is such a boring way to fucking describe the situation. Ay, ay, ay. You either die a victim of American chauvinism or live long enough to see yourself become an Aussie. Yeah, they blew him. They blew him so fucking hard. They turned British, like I said, and you don't even turn into a superhero. Continue to vid. It's good. To say it was frightening is an understatement. I think it shocked us all into silence when the flash hit you. You could see the X-ray. <laughs> there ain't no Nothing. way. They just made him sit on the ship. That's crazy. They're like, don't worry about it, bloke. Don't fucking look at the, f the flashing lights. Just close your fucking eyes. You got a hat. You'll be all right then. Your hands through your closed eyes. It was just sheer brilliant light. So well, I've never seen anything like it. Never had done. In the process of hands over your eyes, you saw every bone in your hand. If I was looking at you now, I would see all your bones. You would see all the blood vessels and everything of the bones a lot. Then the heat hit you, and that was just as if somebody my size had actually caught fire then walked through me. It was an experience that was absolutely unearthing. You, it was so strange. Some of the lads would stand up, but about 30 odd seconds later, you'd get the blast, and the blast would knock you flying. And there were guys with bruises and broken limbs. We couldn't believe it. After a while, we were told that we could now stand and look up and watch the mushroom form. You, you like caught a tree. Sight, of, sight of it at 90. Like a tree, they're like, yeah. All right, lads, look at the mushroom clouds. Yeah, it's your dessert. Degrees. It was that huge. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. It was there. It was practically above you. All they saw was this rising fireball, a colossal fireball just going up and thunder, lightning, you name it. What I noticed most was the clouds moving away. Yeah, this guy got fucked up, I can tell. Guys, I'm a British expert, okay? He's in great distress. You guys think he's cute, but this is how they behave when they're in great distress. Like that. You know, round and round and round. I think it was a, too much for some of them, and some of them would cry and ask for their mum. That was awful. There was no comprehension that anything like that could even exist. It, it, it was immense. It's a sight to see, but never want to see it again. <sighs> Over a 10 year test period, there were 22,500 personnel in 2013, we estimated that eight I'm so glad that they ran these tests. Like, how bad were these guys? Like, what do you do on the ASVAB to get the fucking, you're going to be nuked uh, uh, brigade. You know what I mean? Like, they were like, we can't put these guys in any position in the military. Like, <laughs> motherfuckers failed the British ASVAB. So they were just like, dude, you guys are the nuke guys, okay? That's something that would happen to you that would dawn on you as a worse and worse thing for every decade to come for the rest of your life. They got a lifetime supply of Nuka-Cola. 
No, they didn't volunteer. They didn't tell him anything. You didn't hear it? Ten and a half thousand of us had died. And the reports that I'd seen, nobody had died practically of natural causes. They all died of uh, leukemias and cancers and carcinomas of one sort or the other. Does this correspond to what radiation does to a human body? The thing is, uh, guys couldn't have children. People's children suffer from numerous ailments and things that came come out, twisted bones. And... How did it affect you and your children? I married when I got back to the UK, and uh, my first daughter was born in 1960. She all right? And uh, sadly, by the time she was 11, she developed a problem which completely changed her appearance. She what? got a hump on her back. She was started to grow hair all over her body. What? We had to shave her twice a day. What? She passed away in my arms. My what the fuck? Bro! Bro! What the fuck? Okay, I take back everything I said. Yo! Yo! I don't even know what just... What? Bro, the nuke fucking fried his, like, sperm? What the fuck? I feel like these people think that these men were in the explosion. They're describing just getting hit by the flash of the explosion, like a, the light touching them did all this. Yeah, they were uh, away. They were far away. What if they can give you a super cool pin for that, though? Yeah, no, I've, I've decided that's not good. I've thought about it long and hard, and I've decided it's not worth the super cool pin. Yeah. Listen, I'm a scientist. I needed to see all of the facts. And now that I saw the the humpback uh situation, I for the next of kin, ah, uh, it's not worth it. My youngest daughter I think is the worst. She she's had everything wrong. Everything and it's still going wrong. She lost all her teeth, same as I did. I lost all my teeth. Within a short space of time, they all went black. I had cancer on my face that came up here. You can't see the scar. It's only a little pimple, but it was cancer. And it was also on my back. And the other thing which devastated me, took me a long time to recover from this. And I will never forgive the authorities for putting me in this situation. I couldn't have children. How do younger people respond to what you experienced? First of all, we were not allowed to talk about it. And it was... The common belief was that if you guys could, if you could hold up your thumb and it covered the blast, you were safe, like the fallout pit boy, but these fellas said the mushroom was above them. Okay. Yeah. If you can fucking cover the mushroom cloud with your thumb, then you're super far away, dude. <laughs> that's that's like very, very far away. Yeah. It is insane that these guys were just like, yeah, we're just testing this shit out. Have fun. It's incredible that they did that. Uh a good number of years before we were even allowed to. Yeah, they can't even fucking put their thumb up because they're seeing through their thumb. I I also do. <laughs> yeah, they were seeing through it, bro. They were they got X-ray vision. Um, it's it's bananas that they just told them put your head down and close your eyes. Just don't look at the light. And they were still seeing through their eyelids too. Talk about our experience. We were never allowed to talk about our duties out there. Did you, after this happened, speak about it with your mates? No. Family? No? That's no. crazy. So I don't want anybody to know what we've done and how we've done it. 
The veterans say they were sworn to secrecy and couldn't talk about it until the late 90s. Not even with their families. If they did, it would amount to treason and they'd face a prison sentence. Bro, can you imagine going to jail after you reveal to the public that your daughter ha like died due to the fucking testing that they did on you? We had no compassion from anybody. We had no help from anybody. And we still have very little. And for a government to do that to its own people is absolutely disgraceful. It's outrageous. Does it feel good to now be able to talk about it? Uh, well, it helps, doesn't it? To get over it. You're still getting over it? Yeah. What would you say to our generation? How should we go about this nuclear threat? Our generation doesn't know, do they? They don't know what's happening. Uh, my wife sometimes says to um, the hospital, it's been under two uh, bombs. And they think, who's that silly old fool? You know, what's he romancing about his being a bomb test inside? They have no idea. They have no idea about anything. I think young people ought to be educated to the events that took place in those 10 years. The onus is now on the young people who are coming to take our place. Yeah, but these guys clearly haven't read uh, enough material from those who are championing um, the continuation of the war in Ukraine and how little the issues will be if there was like a mini atom bomb that they deployed in Ukraine. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would like to debate these guys. I mean, honestly, like it, it wouldn't be the end of the world if like they just dropped like a, a small nuke. You know what I mean? It would suck, but like it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? Like, remember that one, chat? Remember that? Little nugget of truth. To get rid of these weapons. Because you are the people who have got to deal with it. And the younger generations that come behind you, with the rights of education, they will do that. Hearing about the suffering nuclear weapons have caused the veterans and their families, and how they were manipulated and lied to by their government makes me wonder if we're naive to think today's leaders will act more responsibly. The veterans say it's up to the younger generations now. But will they take action? And can leaders be influenced? Please read this. The daughter likely developed a disease called Hashimoto's disease is caused by thyroid abnormalities. Unfortunately, is isn't unique to nuclear bombs. It causes hirsutism, which is excessive hair growth and humpback and bloating because the hormones getting fucked up. This is why Metal Gear should be taught in school. Agreed, brother. This is why we need uh, the entire Metal Gear Solid uh, series being taught in school. They get like a cool atomic veteran pin, though. Does it look sick?